What's up, you guys? I'm Zero One Hundred Cheer back with another video. Um, it's not from the, my, it's not from my series, the Battlefield Three, the Battlefield Three Diary. It's actually something that has been just kind of a pain in my ass for a long, long time in Battlefield Three, and that is shotgunners. And ironically, I got I'm using a shotgun, but I'm using it for a reason to describe what I feel when you're getting killed by a shotgun. The thing is that each time you use a shotgun, it's to me it's not it's not that much of a talent, you know. It's just that when somebody is using a shotgun, it's not like it's a talent. It's just something that you use to point and shoot. And basically, I'm sorry, but that's that, that's the truth. I mean, that's what I think about shotgunners. They're just even if you were a level 100, you're not a, you're not a pro. It doesn't give you the rights to even be a pro or even be some sort of a, a great player or whatever you want to say. Because when I, how could I say this? When I've been using the uh, shotgun, it felt really easy to use. You know. It didn't feel like it was that much hard to kill with a shotgun. But then again, uh, it does require a bit of a talent because, after all, you are going with a gun that just fires and reloads such as uh, this past well, but sometimes it can be, as they say, the, uh, a semi nomadic. But what I'm trying to say, I guess, here is that it still doesn't have that quite much of talent when you're using a shotgun. I mean, see, I'm at the top of the, uh, at the top of my of the server leaderboard, and this feels to me it's, it's, it requires much more talent for you to use a shotgun instead of just. Well, no, no, wait, wait. It's not that. It's just that it, you can use a lot of different guns. Why do you use a shotgun? I mean, just think of it about yourself. A shotgun doesn't doesn't require any talent. This game is all about talent. Honestly, it's all about talent. It's not about uh, killing, and it just, you know, it ruins it for me. It ruins my, it ruins my like my my, my temptation that I want to play the game. But still, I'm not gonna say that shotguns are bad or don't use them at all. No, you can use them once or twice if you feel them, but not say that you're level 100 and uh, you're using a shotgun. I mean, the question that's going to be asked, obviously, is how did you get to level 100? And for what reason do you get to level 100? And why do we even play the game if you don't even use another, a different gun? And I'm going to answer most of these questions, not all of them, but the important one is that no, you are not a pro if you're level 100. Uh, why don't you choose another gun? Because you cannot use it in a, in a different type of gun. How did you become a level 100? You just camped, used a shotgun, and killed everybody else. And to be honest, no one is a pro at that. To get back to what I'm trying to say here, there are a lot of things that annoy me at, at this game, but one of the main things that annoy me are shotguns. Like, I'm sorry, but shotguns are like really, really annoying. To the point that I almost, I just. Some people would say that it's rage quit, but to the point that I just get out from the game because when you find out, it's just not rage quit. It's just that when you find out someone is camping with a shotgun, I no shotgun else, and I and I hang like the one I'm, I'm in right now. It's gonna be something like this. It's gonna be a support. He's probably gonna be a level 100, and most importantly, he's gonna probably have M18 or I don't know if the M18 Claymore. I think it's called the M18 Claymore. Let's call him Claymore. You're gonna have at both ends, and you're gonna be camping there until you pop out or you go to the. If you popped out, you're gonna shoot with a shotgun. If you went through the ca uh, the hangar, he's gonna the, the Claymore is gonna basically get you. And see, there's another guy here with his past 12, as you saw, but it's just, like, honestly, this guy, how could I say this, since the, since the patch, I know one wanted 
the last or the one before, I'm not sure when. But there was a patch which fixed the 12 G frags and made the, the usage of the USAS 12 pretty much uh, kind of uh, not often. Nowadays you can't see a lot of players using USAS 12, but before there were a lot of them using that shotgun because of the 12 G frags. Now the thing here, the 12 G frags have been reduced the damage from one shot kill to it takes about I don't know, four or five, or maybe six shots to actually take out the hostile. Now, if they took out the 12 G frags, they brought back the, something that's actually as strong as 12 G frags or even much more stronger. And that's the slugs. And that's what my other friend using this past 12, the only friend using this past 12 actually at this game, uh, using slugs and he's basically gonna take you down pretty much fast. You're gonna have a bit of a chance, but not that much of a chance. And that's what shotguns are. When you're at close quarters, playing against someone, you're not gonna have that much of a chance to win the game. So, my point is just, just get a talent. This guy using a USAS 12, and he's, a, he's probably gonna put claymores around the place. Well, of course, you can put about three to two claymores, but what I'm trying to say is, he's gonna be probably camping somewhere with a claymore. And that's just, I mean, it's, it's just annoying. If you're good with the game, just play the right way with an assault rifle or SMG. What, what? Is it hard to play with an SMG? No, it's not. It's not hard to play with an SMG or, a, or an assault rifle. Who said it was hard? Why are people level one, why are people level 100 and they're still playing with a with an SMG or a assault rifle or a carbine or an LMG? It's it's just the other stuff like these that makes people are pros when you're using guns that are challenging, such as if someone is using the so-called uh, discourage. And this car rage is pretty much a challenging gun. And when you're using it, pretty much you're gonna have a lot of trouble, kind of uh, pointing it into the, pointing it into the uh, the hostile. So imagine yourself using it with a heavy barrel and the whole graphics on, and that's it. There's no foreground or anything. You know, you wanna know how much challenging is that? I'll tell you how much challenging is that. It's really challenging. You will not have the ability to even withstand the recoil. The first, the first shot would be pretty much right now. like the the recoil would be the, the longest recoil of the of the whole man because the first shot, the flinch would be really, really bad. But it's almost at the end of the video, and I guess that it's things like camping and shotgun and here we're basically talking about shotguns. I'll probably be giving camping uh, video, but it's just that. It's not bad to use a shotgun, it's just don't use a shotgun all the time to get to level 100 to get, just to get points. Usually if you want to use it, yeah, you have more fun with them, you're good with shotguns, alright, you know that. But it's not actually good with shotguns because you don't actually have a talent when using a shotgun. It's a point and shoot gun. Look at me, I'm just point and shooting. That's it. If he got at my crossers, he's gonna basically die. That's it. As simple as that, and we all know that. Look, I'm sorry that you're probably gonna feel hated about people who are actually level 100, but that's the truth. So thanks for watching, guys. But please remember to not use the shotgun that much often. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And please remember to rate, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. We're posting videos regularly in a week, in, in, week, regularly in a week and hopefully you enjoy the videos. Thanks a lot. See you guys later. the way you lie So maybe